Now is the time for a reunion with ourselves. All the different parts of ourselves that live within. And yes, we have many. So simply acknowledging each one, each one's voice, hearing them aloud individually, and then hearing them as a collective. And what are they saying? What do they sound like? It's just tuning into your inside, home base. And when you can allow them to come out and express themselves, they will feel heard, they will be listened to, and therefore you'll be able to feel resolved and not frustrated that they're being suppressed and quieted, because that is not what they want. You need to listen to yourself, your inner voices, and therefore you'll be better to listen to the outside voices. It's an exciting thing to embrace them and say you don't have to be quiet because when we're suppressed like that, then we're feeling this sense of rage, like we're not hurt. And that's frustrating. So listen to yourself first and then you can listen to others better too. It's funny because when I dance, I feel I'm just following an impulse, like a thread, a string. and There's someone else there, so many parts of me there, not just one. Different things come out and you don't even know what it is sometimes. <laughs> but it's fun to explore, it's valuable. And sometimes it can be an uncomfortable feeling and these transitional seasons, autumn, it's a time of letting things go, letting things shed off of you that you don't need, flicking them away. <laughs> Feels so good. Sometimes it doesn't though. But that unnecessary, sorry, it's necessary. <laughs> that necessary uncomfort, discomfort, is ultimately what we need to move forward. Because if we're in our comfort zone all the time, we'll never grow. So keep exploring the possibilities in your own way. Whether you're dancing, you're singing, you're creating art in whatever way you are. You're simply going into your own body by breathing, by connecting with the inhale, going in through your nose, through this tree of life and awakening your brain, literally going to your lungs. And exhaling, softening your heart, being more receptive and open to connection through your inner world and your outer world. It's really this conversation. So you're never really alone. Your awareness, your consciousness as a human being interacting with the environments around you, like you're always in partnership, we're always in relationships. So explore that through dance, through breath work, through stretching, through singing. This is how I'm gonna share it today. Take some risks, listen.